My name is Jim Lucan. Today I want to talk a little bit about the Native American populations and tribes that lived at the coast of South Carolina at about the time when European explorers and colonists arrived. Now, we know from numerous accounts of these early explorers in about the late 1500s and early 1600s that Native Americans were ubiquitous at the coast. We know that they lived in villages. We know that they practiced agriculture, and, and in particular, the growing of corn. And they also had a big impact on their environment by the use of fire. These same people, or descendants, of other people that crossed the Bering Land Bridge about 13,000 years ago. The Bering Land Bridge was a strip of land between Siberia and Alaska that was exposed when sea level was lower. And as those people crossed that land bridge, they fanned out across North America, and some of them eventually ended up at the coast of South Carolina. In the course of writing this book, I had got my hands on several sources and attempted to uh, develop a map showing the distribution of various tribes out at the coast of South Carolina. The map has the appearance of accuracy. I don't know exactly how accurate it is because Written records at that particular point in time when European settlers first encountered Native Americans were sparse. Um, and in particular, what we don't know about the Native Americans is how big their population sizes were. We know that many of the Native Americans at the coast made abundant use of marine resources, and they also had an active trade in deer skins and other sorts of uh, game resources with the early colonists, but we simply do not know what their impact was on fish and game. As the wave of European colonists continue to roll into coastal South Carolina, uh, the plight of the Native American was not good. And I'm going to read a passage from the book that I think captures this pretty well. The plight of Native Americans became dire. Their populations were decimated by disease and forced immigration. Their hunting and agricultural lands were lost via acquiescence, payment, negotiation, and aggression. A recent study has shown that abandoned Native American settlements were among the first areas claimed by Europeans via the land grant process. And so we see very quickly that Native Americans that were living at the coast vanished, moved somewhere else, and their place at the coast was taken by the European colonists.